All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutations to you, Aki, out there that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. Um, I just got some questions for these guys who say that uh, Esau, Esau Edom isn't the so-called white man. You got a lot of these guys that say Esau Edom is, uh, um, what else do they say? They say Esau Edom is the arrow. They, saw, uh, they say uh, Esau Edom is just uh, a mentality, you know, trying to get away from the facts that Esau Edom is a so-called white man. And um, you can even see it in the Urban Dictionary. This is what Elder Apostle Tahar you know, I brought up in the live stream. It's even in the Urban Dictionary. The greatest criminal ever to walk the earth, Satan incarnate. Okay? Better known as the white man. Term comes from the biblical name for Caucasians. Okay? Even people that make up the Urban Dictionary know Esau Edom is the so-called white man. But you got these guys out here who love Master so much, they want to get away from the fact that Esau Edom is a so-called white man. But you're going to see it soon, man. All right? You're going to see it real soon, man. And how come you don't see it right now? Okay, who else is detaining uh, these Israelites in these concentration camps down there in Texas, man? It's not the Arab, okay? It sure as hell like the Arab, man. All right? So I'm just going to get to some... I'm just going to ask you guys some questions, man. Okay, I'm just going to ask you guys some questions. Because, uh, you know, I, I've been looking at these other guys. You know, I'm not going to name any names. I might. But um, just some questions, man, through the scriptures. You know, um, just a second. Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which means destruction, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called the Most High, God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Okay. So that's that's the Arab. Uh, this week alone, Donald Trump said that they're going to have a sixth option of defense. And they're going to go up, as the Bible mentions, into the star of heaven with their space stations and try to fight Yahweh our Lord and Savior. This happened this week alone. So you're telling me that this man doesn't have a God complex, that he thinks he's God? He saw even the so-called white man? All right, continuing on. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. All right. And know ye not what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. One he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. All right. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is, is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, okay? With all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of truth that they might be saved, okay? So he came out through the work of Satan, man. Satan means adversary. So you, you're telling me that Esau Edom is, is not adversary is, is, is not an adversary. He's adverse to the Bible. Okay? Scriptures say that uh, a homosexual shall be put to death. This man promotes homosexuality and transgenderism and bestiality and pedophilia and lesbianism and adultery. And you're saying he's the Arab or he's done away with? Esau's done away with? No, he's still here. Okay? Give an example. First Maccabees three 
and 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of the images. So they're telling me the Arab, the Arabs went in and painted all the images of the Israelites who were dark skinned men and painted them into so called white people. You're telling me the Arabs did that? No. That's Esau Edom. Okay. Another scripture I got. Just questions, man. Just questions. All right. Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Who were who will be under the possession of, man? All right, when you look at these names that these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have, let's let's take the so called Negro for instance, Johnson, Richardson, names like that, Carr, O'Reilly, okay? These are all names of their possessor, the so called white man. You got names of the so called Mexican like Rodriguez, Garcia, Sanchez, Sandoval. Okay, so on and so forth for the so-called Brazilian Silva, Acosta. Okay, names like that, man. Gilberto. These are all names of the, the possessor, the so-called white man, whether he was the Dutch, the Spanish, the French, the British, the Portuguese, so on and so forth. And hold themselves not guilty. All right, who's shooting the so-called Negro down and getting off? It's not the Arab. Okay. What happened with um, Trayvon Martin? What happened with um, Mike Brown? Did the Arab shoot them down? Honestly, did the Arab shoot them down? And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord for I am rich. All right. The people who shot him down, they get a GoFundMe page. They're they're basically a hero for shooting a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American down. You know, is that really the Arab? You gotta ask yourself that question, man. Is that really the Arab? All right. Um, another scripture. Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword and the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Verse 6, therefore, as I live, said the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay. Now, who... Um, has had a perpetual hatred for the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. Let's go with the Native Americans, okay? Trail of Tears, okay? Manifest Destiny, where uh, these Native Americans and Seminole Indians, they were forced out of the land, okay? And, and forced to go off into Oklahoma and parts of the Western United States. Was that, was that the Arab who did that? Was Andrew Jackson an Arab? Okay. He was known as the Indian killer. Was Christopher Columbus an uh an Arab when he came over here and slaughtered the Taino Indians? Okay. Who put in place uh Jim Crow laws and segregation for the so called Negro? Was it the Arab? Okay, who went down into uh, Central and South America with well, the conquistadors, Arabs? Okay, hell no. Okay, this is talking about Esau, Edom. Mount Seir is a people before a place. So Esau cannot, Esau is not the Arab. Okay, it's a so-called white man. 
who has had a perpetual hatred for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Perpetual hatred. Even right now, to this very day, this very week, who's putting these so-called Mexicans and Guatemalans into, uh, Guatemalan children into these uh, detention centers in, in South Texas? It sure as hell isn't the Arab, okay? You gotta ask yourself these questions, man. And all you false pastors who say Esau Elam is not the so-called white man and he's an Arab and whatever you think that's coming out of your head, you're gonna be put to death, man. All right? Read Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter. All right, so... um, Got another question. Go to Hebrews, the 12th chapter, verse 16. It says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Let's look at this word. Uh, profane. Strong's G, 952. Bebelos. Bebelos. All right, the word that best that best describes Bebelos is ungodly, profane, okay? This man says that two men can um, basically marry each other. Two women can basically marry each other. That transgenders can walk around. Did the Arabs do that? Okay, the one who promotes, promotes abominable foods everywhere you go. When you go to your perspective uh, shopping centers to shop for food. There's pork everywhere, okay? There's shrimp, crab, and lobster everywhere, all right? Who's putting chemtrails into the air? Sure as hell ain't the Arabs, okay? Who's tanning the water, okay? Who's got, who's got, who's got trash the, twice the size of Texas in the Pacific? It's not the Arab, man, all right? Let's look at that word. Um, fornicator. Strong's G, 4205. Parnas. 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 All right. The best description of Parnas is a man who indulges in lawful sexual intercourse, a fornicator, i.e., uh, let's see if I can get a better description down there. All right, who promotes who promotes adultery, homosexuality, bestiality, pedophilia? It sure as hell isn't the A rap man. All right, the questions you got to ask yourself for you guys that say that. Esau Edom is the Arab and he's not the white man. Okay. Just a few more questions. All right, Genesis uh, 25, verse 30. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint, therefore. His name, therefore, was his name called Edom. Who else likes their meat raw? You telling me that Arab likes their meat raw? Okay. Gotta ask yourself these questions. Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay, democracy is a lie. All right. White Jesus is a lie. Okay, celebrating these holidays like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, July 4th, Memorial Day. That's a lie. All right. Painting these images and their likeness is a lie. Homosexuality is a lie. 
all right, believing in this American dream is a lie. And you're telling me that the wicked are uh, the Arabs? All right. I'm going to go to explain who the wicked is, man. All right. Just in case if you don't know by now. All right. Well, matter of fact, let me let me go to uh, Maccabees, the first chapter. All right, it's clear as day, man. And it happened after the son, after that Alexander's son of Philip, the Macedonian who came out of the land of Shittim, had smitten Darius the king of the Persians and, and Medes, that he reigned in his stead the first over Greece. All right, now who? <clears throat> was Alexander, man. He was a so-called Greek, man. And who would be considered? He would be considered a so-called white man by today's standards, okay? All right. So let's go down. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they put crowns upon themselves so did their sons after them many years and evils were multiplied in the earth so after alexander a greek the so-called white man took over and his four generals took over says evils were multiplied on the earth okay this man is known for evil all right and you're telling me that's the, the the wicked in the bible is is the arab now they are the heathen, and they will be judged, and they will go into slavery. But that's not talking about the Arabs, man. All right. Once Esau came back on the... <laughs> See, these guys don't study, man. Once Esau came back, all right, on that Greek power structure, so evils were multiplied on the earth, man. All right. So Malachi chapter 1, verses 1, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord, yet you say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob. Verse 3, and I hated Esau. So all you coons, man, have a problem with Esau being hated because you have a slave mentality. The scriptures say is Israel a servant and homeborn slave. You guys fit that Jeremiah 2.14 description to a T. All right, because you don't want to let your master go. All right, he's your homie lover friend, your buddy, and you don't want to let him go. Now, understand this. All right, you do have some so-called white people whose line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They're Israelites, some of them, okay? Not all of them, some of them. Some of the, some so-called white people, like the Irish are out, out here, some of these Scottish people, all right, so on and so forth, are Israelites, man. It says some of them. All right, so don't get it twisted. This isn't some pro-black doctrine, but we're establishing that Esau Edom is the wicked and he's the so-called white man, okay? And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. All right. <clears throat> Whereas Edom say, if we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. All right. They got ran up into the caves around the time of Septimius Severius on 193 AD. They went up to the uh, Georgia Russia area, which is known as the Caucasus Mountains. All right. And they came back out during the Renaissance period, man, the rebirth period. This is where you get uh, Esau Edom, the so called white man, painting the images of the Lord into a so-called white man. Okay, the Arabs didn't do that. Verse four, whereas Edom say, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Now he built these desolate places, namely here in America. Okay, he came back. <clears throat> And he, he built up America using um, the so-called Negro Latino Native American, using that perpetual hatred that he had for us to build up his country, all right, that he stole. 
They shall build it, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people, let me go back to that. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. That scripture goes hand in hand with uh, First Maccabees, the first chapter, where it talks about evils will multiply on the earth. All right. The border of wickedness. Who says, once again, who says that homosexuality is cool and bestiality and pedophilia and you can eat abominable foods and women um, can do whatever they want here, here in America? That's wickedness, man. The women are out of order, man. You should already know that. All right. Who who gives women these rights? Who gives women who gives these women the right to go to child support, go uh, to to put their men on child support and further oppress the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American? Who established nine one one, man? Wasn't the Arab? <clears throat> who established the no, the modern day slave patrol, the police force? It wasn't the Arabs, man. The border of wickedness, the so-called white man, Esau Edom. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. See, a lot of you homeborn slave Negroes, man, won't let it go, man. You got to let this devil go, man. Let him go. You're like that guy in uh, the Django, that coon, man, who was played by Samuel L. Jackson. A lot of you guys just look like that in the spirit, man, because you fail to understand that this man is going down. He's going into slavery. All right? It's as clear as day, man. All right, who does this scripture fit? Revelation uh, 13. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led the so-called Negro, West Indian, and Haitian into captivity? Here on the shores of North, Central, and South America. Okay, because you got so-called black man that got shipped over to Brazil as well, man. All right. You got a lot of Judites over there in Brazil. All right. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who did that? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Esau's blessing was a sword in the fatness of the earth. That's that's something I didn't cover either. The fatness of the earth. All right, who has the fatness of the earth? It's in the Arab. Now the Arabs, they, they have Dubai. They have the United Arab Emirates. Okay, that's one example, but they don't have the whole earth. The scriptures say the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. And it sure as hell ain't the Arab. Now the Arabs are going into slavery. Okay, get that straight. But Esau Edom is that culprit. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So if you don't understand from the scriptures that Esau Edom is the so-called white man, without even going into Genesis, the 25th chapter, it's pretty evident that this man is the devil. And um, woe and destruction to you false prophets who teach otherwise, man, leading our people... Uh, uh, astray and you're gonna see these horns pop out in this man all right in the coming days leading up to jacob's trouble so with that um just have some questions for you guys out here man with that um death to you false prophets and shallow on to the election